What up, YouTube? Uh, I'm back at it again. It's your man, Logician. And um, I first want to say, uh, I mean, I want to start this uh, series off by saying um, I understand, you know, why a lot of women, uh, and then especially in the black community, black women, um, do so many things to, uh, to make themselves feel powerful. You know, um, a lot of the disrespect, uh, a lot of the attitude, a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, the abuse, the verbal abuse and otherwise, that a lot of women shell out, <clears throat> um, is, is a lot of times a defense mechanism uh, against, you know, largely a society that uh, sends women, um, uh, in general, a lot of mixed messages about their worth as a human being. And this is, you know, always going to be, whatever's wrong in society in America is always going to be amplified in the black community. So black women tend to exhibit the worst symptoms of, uh, of this phenomenon. So, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, the, the, the attitude situation, uh, part of it, um, a lot of times is women trying to, you know, trying to feel powerful in a, in a, in a, in a world where, you know, they feel like their power has been taken from them. You know, you look at the uh, the abuse rates, the sexual abuse rates, you know, and, and women in America, it's something supposed to be something like anywhere from like 35 to upwards to like 40, 45 percent of, uh, you know, women in America uh, are either, have either been sexually assaulted or will be. And you add that to the verbal abuse and, you know, the spiritual and emotional abuse, and um, you make you you got a situation where you you have a lot of damaged people, and uh, especially sexual abuse. You know, it, it it makes it makes a person feel worthless. It makes a person feel dirty and ashamed, and takes away that person's what a lot of times takes away that person's worth, um, self worth, and their power and their strength to uh, you know to affect change in their own life. You know, so it leaves a lot of people, feel, you know, I say people because it's men and women that go through that feeling powerless. And uh, so a lot of the, uh, and you look at the um, the unrealistic media images that uh, women are faced, you know, with every day. Going through the checkout line at the supermarket, they see a supermodel on the front of the cover of a magazine. But they didn't airbrush her, they didn't, you know, did Photoshop to her face to get all the scars and marks and stuff off. You know, she's not even a real woman. But this is the image that a lot of women, these are images a lot of women allow to, you know, influence them subconsciously. Um, now you got the video vixens coming out, you know, or video bottles, whatever you want to call them, with the super big booty, you know what I mean? And, and you know, and social networking sites like MySpace only, you know, tend to sort of, you know, hype up this uh, this image of, um, you know, these, uh, you know, these super women, like, you know, uh, and, you know, our society, you know, the, the people up top gain so much off of um, keeping women focused on, you know, the way they look rather than, you know, their internal development. Because if women in this country, you know, really became balanced and really, uh, uh, really, really understood the power they had, they could do a lot to, uh, to disrupt the status quo. You know what I mean? There's a few people controlling everything in our society, from politics to government, the economy, etc. And if women, you know, uh, understood how powerful they were, you know, maybe they could they could change the game. So it's it's imperative to keep people down, men and women. And um, a lot of women do things, you know, out of uh, being a defense mechanism and, and trying to feel powerful, trying to feel like they're worth something in a society that tells them they're really not, unless they have a man or unless they look a certain way or unless they have some type of you know uh, a social a certain social standing, you know, among you know other other people who's popular and who's not, you know, the in crowd, the out crowd. Uh, all these are divisions that are created in society that, um, you know, do a lot of damage to uh, people's esteem. 
So, uh, like for instance, you had just uh, all the way down to a, a you know a beautiful chick at a club, you know, or or at the movies or wherever. She'd go out. A lot of times, she'd choose less attractive women to be around, three or four of them, so she gets all the attention, right? Um, and this is this is culture, you know. This is women are conditioned to to want a bunch of attention. When we show little girls, you know, images of uh, Cinderella and Snow White and the big beautiful wedding where all the attention is on her, we show her these images while she's younger. You know, so why you know why are we shocked when a lot of women act out subconsciously when they get older? You know what I mean? Uh, being you know being loud, having an attitude, and going off is a way to get attention too. Right? If your father, a lot of fathers aren't in the home, and if no male, you know, ever really uh, validated you, your worth as as a woman, I mean that, you know, if they all be they may be twisted attempts, but you know, you might uh, end up trying to uh, get that from from elsewhere, you know, validation from uh from other men who are you know, who aren't going to be <laughs> as uh, uh as nurturing and loving as maybe a father would have been. And uh, like I said before, you know, a lot of women carry a lot of hurt and pain from the past, from, you know, whatever they've been through, being abandoned, you know, and whatever. Um, so a lot of times it's, it's I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me, right? And a lot of the ind I'm an independent woman thing, I got a degree, a house, a car, and I can do it on my own and stuff. A lot of women saw their mothers being abused and dogged out and choosing, you know, bad men to be with. So they say, they go to the extreme and say, I'm never going to be like that. Ain't no man ever going to tell me what to do, you know what I mean? Ain't no man ever going to, you know, do this or do that. So they go to the, the, the other extreme of the spectrum, you know, and uh, it's hard to find balance. It's hard to find balance in this society, man. It's really twisted. Um, you know, we, 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 we show little girls these images and, and of, of, this, of, of being in a relationship with a man and all this other kind of stuff when they're three and four years old, right? But when they get older, when they're adults, there's no family structure, there's no structure in society to help guide her decisions and the mate that she should choose. So she ends up, you know, uh, being attracted to, uh, um, you know, the bad boy or, the, you know, whatever, because of his behavior is attractive. You know what I mean? It's, he's being, you know, even though he's an idiot, that's maleness he's displaying or her version of it because of, of the twisted media images that are presented about men. So she ends up choosing the wrong guy and gets hurt over and over again, right? Um, so uh, yeah, a lot of women have a lot to deal with in this society, you know what I mean? And um, I just wanted to put out there that I understand why women do so much to uh, um, that, you know, so so they have so much extreme behavior. It's because they're being inundated with uh, such extreme. They have to live under such extreme conditions, um, you know. Uh, How's a little girl supposed to feel about, um, you know, growing up in a society that says, you, you know, this is beautiful, and the only way you, you're really worth anything is if you're if you match this image, or if you got a man, right? If you got this, or you're able to do that, and uh, you know, all these images and, and and ideas are unrealistic in the first place. Then on top of that, you take the feminist movement. Right, and dump that on top and say, you know, well, women, well, men, not just men and women are equal, you know, men aren't worth anything. You know, they're stupid, they're lazy, they don't, you know, you can do everything yourself. Now, what she's supposed to think about and, and how she's supposed to feel about that. So, uh, it's, it's really, it's really confusing for women. And I feel sorry for uh, the women of my generation, Generation X and Generation Y coming up. Because uh, there's, there's stru no structure in society at all, you know what I mean? And um, the families are just completely being dis uh, decimated, especially in the black community, other communities too. But, you know, when you take the father out the, out the house, you know, I mean, it, you know, society has free reign to raise your kids and do what, 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 what they want. And, uh, you know, this confusion and, and, and dismay and destruction of uh, these uh, young women's images only serves to uh, benefit the people up top and maintain the status quo, which is, means the masses are disempowered and they are empowered, you know. Anyway, that's my little rant on that. Y'all stay up.